What's going on guys, Sam Man back with another review and today we're taking a look at the brand new DC Multiverse, The Riddler by McFarlane Toys. This is way more of a classic look of The Riddler. First time in the line for McFarlane Toys, DCUC gave us a version of this. I think it was in the Bane uh, Collect and Connect, but now McFarlane has his own. He does come with his uh, weapon and he's got several interchangeable hands. Now this is a figure that I think is really good as far as everything it comes with. Because look at the different hands that you get, plus his cane, and then the card and the base. See, now that's what McFarlane should be doing more so with all his figures. So we got the Riddler right there. And then on the back, this is what I really like too, is that you have some really cool artwork here on the back of the Riddler. And it says, how can one get into a cemetery? And I, I can't read. So there is the packaging on him. Let's go ahead and open this guy up and let's see if he's gonna be a pickup or a pass. All right, guys, so let's take a look what the Riddler does come with. So you do get your standard McFarlane card and your DC Multiverse circular base there. Now, as far as the accessories go, you have his cane, which is soft rubber material. I really wish he would go back to the class, uh, the plastic, the hard plastic. And um, it might be a little bit oversized, I think. I don't know why McFarlane gives us some oversized weapons, but you have that. The cool thing about him is that you do get tons of interchangeable hands. So you got a pair of close fists. You have this one here, which actually looks like it's meant to hold onto a gun. And then you have a thumbs up, right? That's pretty cool. And you have one that's one that it's kind of it's what it kind of reminds me of. You have that one just like that. And then you have one that's uh, like an open hand almost. And then you have one that's gonna hold on to the cane for the right hand. So a really good amount of accessories for this guy right here, which is what McFarlane should be doing regularly. Now, here we go. Here we have the Riddler. So it's a pretty simple figure. It's got a really great sculpt for the head sculpt. You got the purple mask, which is, is it just painted on? I believe it's just painted on, but the shading on the skin looks really good. The hair is black and it does have some blue like shading. Oh, some blue shading to it. And you have his green spandex costume with question marks all over it. And I do like the color green that he used. He's got him on the sleeves. He's got him a little bit on the back, on the butt, and you have him on the lower legs. And you can see the boots. So as far as what hands he comes with, he comes with an open hand and he comes with this hand here, which is again, it looks like it's like a, like a trigger finger, but that'll hold on to his, his cane. Now, this is one thing I don't really like uh, that McFarlane does is you can see the joint there. I don't like how that looks. I mean, do you guys like that? Or do you guys, does that bother you guys? That gap right there where you can see that? That's just one thing I, I, I don't like that he does with some of his figures. Uh, but the purple gloves look cool. The, is this soft rubber in the, in the diaper or the butt? That's uh, a little bit soft rubber. And you have his purple belt, which looks great. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is a great looking figure. And there is a chase to this guy. I'll go ahead and post the chase on what it looks like. Personally, not a fan of the chase. I think the regular version of this is a lot better. It's got a great head sculpt too. Again, very, very nicely sculpted and the hair looks fantastic. Now let's have him hold on to his cane, but I don't know. Do you guys think this looks oversized still? I think it looks... I, when you, it's kind of confusing. It looks decent. Maybe if it can, man, you know what? It is a little bit oversized. If it was a little bit on the slimmer side, it would actually be perfect. But I like how this guy came out. Let's go ahead and go over his articulation. So you have the rotation and the head sculpt. The head can rotate, also goes up and down, tilt the head side to side. Looks like he's got a little butt chin there. You also have two points of articulation in the waist, goes up and down, good range of motion there. Arms in and out, forward and back. He's got that little extra piece right here too, like in the shoulder area and the chest. Double jointed at the elbows. Upper arm rotates, hand rotates, has a hinge as well. Legs go in and out, forward and back, double jointed knees. And you have the whole ankle pivot and toe articulation. So there is the articulation for the Riddler. There you go, guys. This is my quick little review. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys. It's more of the classic Riddler right here, and I think it's an awesome figure. It does have some issues to it. Like when I popped in this hand right here, the thumbs up, you can see like the gap in between and the joint. I just don't like that. I think, I don't know why he does that. I wish he would fix that. McFarlane, please fix that. But other than that, it is a great figure. Oh, and just make the weapons a little bit more 
true to size to the figures, not oversized, but other than that, I do think this is an awesome figure. And if you're you know, a fan of the Riddler or you want your rogues gallery, this is one you're gonna want to have in your collection. So let me know what you guys think about this. Again, I think he did an awesome job with including a lot of accessories with this figure. So thank you McFarlane for that. So thumbs up the video guys. We will see you guys soon. Later.